There were more fans on hand and more security personnel than for the unveiling of any other star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. When the Jackson's manager announced the group had added three Los Angeles performances to their tour, the crowd roared, but that didn't satisfy their impatience to see the star. If this area does not back up immediately, we will not be able to have the ceremony. November 20th, 1984, Michael Jackson received the 1,793rd star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Right now, I'm standing on Hollywood Boulevard, and right here is the Michael Jackson star. Now, the Michael Jackson star ceremony took place all in this area right here, and it was a fiasco. We're gonna get into it. Let's go. Welcome to Beverly Hills, you have arrived. Now Hollywood Boulevard right now looks like a ghost town. I'm telling you that's only because I got out here really, really early to fight the crowd because the Michael Jackson star gets very crowded during the day. And if you ever wanted to do photo ops with Michael Jackson, sometimes there's a line. There's a line to uh, take a photo with Michael Jackson star. So uh, just be warned. Uh, up front. Now right here in this area is exactly where Michael Jackson had his ceremony. And what happened next was not expected by the city of Los Angeles, by the Hollywood Walk of Fame, or by Michael Jackson's team. While Michael Jackson's team and the Hollywood Boulevard was getting ready for the ceremony, an unexpected number of fans showed up. Over 6,000 fans filled the streets right here on Hollywood Boulevard. The notoriously shy singer also attracted a record-breaking crowd. More than 6,000 fans literally pushing to catch a glimpse of their eye. Not only did this become the biggest crowd on record, and also became one of the most unruly at a star ceremony. Police had to hold back in the surging crowd. They were barely able to do so. Every time the cops had to take a person away that was fainting or something, there would be nobody left. Now, of course, it didn't help that it took place on the most popular spot on Hollywood Boulevard. Now, you have to remember, this size of a crowd has never happened before at a star ceremony. And because of this unexpected crowd size, they had to call in for backup. In order to get the crowd under control, they had to call for more security and more police officers. And a lot of these police officers were actually on horse. Now, you can only imagine horses navigating through 6,000 people in this crammed area probably made things worse. Due to the crowd becoming more anxious and eager to see Michael Jackson, the pushing and shoving got so severe that a lot of the cops on horses had to pull some of these bodies out from the crowd. Even though they had extra security, there was no way they were gonna contain this crowd. In fact, the more they did, the more this ceremony became a fiasco. Some people, in fact, were saying that the barricades were being knocked over. They just started to push the fence over. It was coming down on us. Now, at this point, there was nothing that security could really do. Already, multiple people have been injured, and several people were actually hospitalized. Now, this essentially became a snake eating its own tail. The event was a difficult one to navigate through. Essentially, a never-ending cycle of chaos. They were damned if they moved on with the ceremony, and they were damned if they didn't. And the longer they held Michael Jackson from going on with the ceremony, the more chaotic the crowd got. Now, there was only two options left. Put Michael Jackson up on the stage uh, with a possible stampede rushing towards Michael Jackson. On the one hand, you had Michael Jackson in the back with his team worried about the crowd and quite possibly unintentionally hurting Michael Jackson. These are real worries that they had to think about. Uh, or two, 
don't put Michael Jackson up on stage and a possible riot breaking out. Because if there's one thing that history taught us is don't piss off thousands of fans. That's not gonna end pretty. Now, of course, they went with option one. They put Michael Jackson up on stage to continue the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jackson. And we welcome him to the Walk of Fame. Now, this was considered one of the quickest uh, ceremonies. They actually rushed Michael Jackson up there. He basically said his thank yous. Uh, it was very quick, and it's probably the quickest on record. Pop superstar Michael Jackson made what has to go on record as the shortest appearance ever at a Walk of Fame ceremony. The second thing they did was take Michael Jackson down to where they revealed the star and they took the photo ops. After they took the photo ops, they quickly rushed Michael Jackson and the rest of his family out of there because they just wanted to clear the streets. Jackson made only a brief appearance and then left quickly under tight security. Now the problem was, was that the ceremony happened so quickly that the over 6,000 fans, they didn't disperse like they wanted them to. And the fans were actually demanding more. The police actually had to get on the bullhorn and the microphones or whatever they had to announce to the fans that it's over. Michael Jackson is gone. You must leave now. Um, yeah, it was a uh, tough time to clean up this crowd. Michael Jackson is no longer here, so you cannot see him. I thought we could go on with it, but uh, the kids were just, uh, you know, he's the most popular performer in the world, and they showed that here today. Michael Jackson's day of celebration was unfortunately marred by an over-exuberant crowd curtailing the ceremony and causing the star and his family to make a hasty retreat. Needless to say, everyone learned a lesson that day. Because I worked for Bob Hope in the early 90s and people have read about me or seen me, oh. I, I'm the top salesperson. I don't even have to, yeah, I just boom. Now, if you wanted to come out here and see the Michael Jackson star for yourself, it's out here on Orange Drive and Hollywood Boulevard, and it's right next to the Chinese Theater. It's really not hard to find. Just look for the crowd around the star, and you'll find it. Now, the contrast of when I first got here to now, which is only about maybe an hour, the crowd has grown exponentially. Now, right now they got barricades around the uh, Chinese theater. This actually doesn't open up until nine o'clock. That's just to show you how early I am. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to go through the sidewalk and check out some of the names, but if you're ever here, the sidewalk right here has many celebrity names uh, in the cement with the handprints. It's really cool to look at. better. What? Oh, he's standing right behind me. Cool, so the Chinese theater lot is now open so I can walk around and look at some of these stars and prints. Let's check them out. So I was looking for the new Cindy Lauper handprint uh, signature here and apparently uh, it's still drying they told me and that they do the ceremony somewhere else after they sign it and put the handprint in then they place it in this area after it's fully dry. I did not know that. And then he said also from the recording of this video anyway, two months, it's gonna take about two months before uh, they place it here. I had no idea. 
<laughs> How long has it been? It's been a while, man. My name is actually Greg too. We met uh, oh, okay. a little while ago. So this is this is Greg. The ambassador, right? You're the they ambassador. call me that. Yeah, I mean, you're, the you're, former you're, official one in Beverly Hills. Official, I get it, but no, but in Beverly Hills, I was. Oh, you were. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for um, tw almost twelve years. Yeah. So you had a you had a, a pretty interesting story that I wanted to hear about. Yeah. Guardian, Michael Jackson star. What was? Yes, uh, it was after that documentary on HBO, and there were th people. Were, there was a, a alleged. Right. It was he was alleged. To right, have alleged. Had, right. Of, uh, and then, so the yeah. court case was going on and stuff. Oh no, it wasn't the court case. Oh, he'd already been. Oh, he, they were suing him. Right, 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 yeah, right, right. Because of it, like, and they, it was a pretty strong documentary. Even though I'll yeah, be honest, I, remember, it, yeah. I kind of made me believe it. But uh, well, we, anyway, I just considered the Walk of Fame a historical landmark, so I guarded it. That's awesome. Because man. there were, yeah, because I mean, you, yeah, it's a historical. People. They've, they've done. You don't the, want people coming Trump. by and destroying a national just, landmark. Yeah. Right, right. And, California and, landmark, actually. Right, right. Well, hey, so, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, it would have been, you know, it would have been bad. So yeah. I stood there. You know what? The, so I don't know if I'll do it this year because I think it's over that documentary. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I like, I like the new setup, man. You got the kind of a speaker there and stuff. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen you with that. I said this to Harrison Ford in the movie. Welcome to Beverly Hills. You have arrived. You can <laughs> see it. Hollywood homicide. I'm in. I'm in the trailer. Oh, all right, man. <laughs> On books and in trailers, this guy's amazing. Greg, the ambassador. Take care, hey, man. Greg. Yeah, you too. Well, that was Greg, the other Greg, not this Greg. And uh, he was actually in a video that I did quite a while ago about the Walk of Fame. And so this is the second time he's been in my videos. If you want to continue watching other Michael Jackson videos, please go check this video out right over here it's another michael jackson video if you like this one you're gonna like that one and also if you don't want to go to that one go to this one right here this is the latest video right here go check out either one of those videos guys and i'll catch you later bye